This is the story about how I met Jesus twice in one week. I think at the age of 13, um, I attended Christian Youth in Action when I was a teenager. And it was at a Christian Youth in Action that really sensed the Lord's call on my life. A story that really stands out in my mind is one of an eight-year-old girl. I was an eight-year-old girl who was going to Good News Club. One evening at the end of club, my teacher gave me an invitation to receive Jesus. I stayed behind to hear what he had to say. The innocence of kids is so amazing because uh, they truly realize the sacrifice that Jesus did for us. When a child finally accepts Christ, their desire to learn more and their passion for Jesus really inspires me. As a pastor, I can't emphasize enough the value of Child Evangelism Fellowship and Christian Youth in Action. We saw Child Evangelism Fellowship just turn our program around in our church. We started nine years ago, I believe we had about eight teenagers. From there, using Child Evangelism Fellowship's methods, using Christian Youth in Action in the programs, we saw our attendance, our enrollment, raised to over 200 young people. It's training up the next generation. Every single year I just learn new things. I grow spiritually in my walk. As I was sitting with my teacher, he shared with me how Jesus died for me and came back to life again. So I asked Jesus to save me from my sin. A few days later, as my teacher and his wife were sleeping, my grandma had to call him and tell him what happened to me. Lamentations 2.19 Arise, cry out in the night. At the beginning of your watches, lift up your hands towards him, pour out your heart like water for the life of your young children who faint from hunger at the head of every street. Second Corinthians, it says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I know that He has a will for me and that He has a plan for me. I can only be strong in God's grace, and I know that I am weak on my own, but God's grace helps me to be strong and to do my best for Him. Ecclesiastes 3, verses 1 through 8, it's a time for everything passage. It really helps remind me that even if a child doesn't accept Christ just at the moment, I give the invitation, God has planted the seed and that there is a time for everything. My grandma called my Good News Club teacher and told him how I have fallen 12 feet out of a tree. I hurt my head. Doctors didn't believe I was going to make it through the night. So he grabbed his keys and decided to come and see me. But just think. Just a few days earlier, I received Jesus. And now I was preparing to go in and meet my Savior. I was going to meet Jesus for the second time in one week. I think it just reiterated the importance of, of Good News Club, the importance of Child Evangelism Fellowship, and the importance of, of giving that gospel invitation at the end of club, because you never know how long that child has. So if you are a teenager thinking about Christian youth in action, or if you are an adult thinking about Child Evangelism Fellowship, just think about the difference you can make in a child like me. I met Jesus twice in one week.